Every year, thousands of researchers send papers to computer science conferences for consideration. The papers are evaluated by a peer review process to decide which papers to include in the conference program. Given the huge number of submissions, conference chairs recruit reviewers to assist in assessing the submitted papers. Typically, each paper is read and rated by three reviewers. The reviewers do not know the names of the authors, and to further prevent conflicts of interest, all authors and reviewers are asked to provide a list of people with whom they have a conflict. And program chairs make sure no reviewer is assigned a paper by an author they have a conflict with. Unfortunately, there is a loophole in the process, allowing for a collusion ring that gives some participants an unfair advantage. In a collusion ring, a group of authors agree in advance to support one another's papers. They share the titles of their papers so they know which papers were written by other members of the collusion ring. Then, they get positions as reviewers and request to review those papers. If a colluding reviewer is assigned a paper authored by another member of the ring, they give that paper a glowing review. Often, a single extra positive review is enough to push a borderline paper over the line. Sometimes, a paper by a colluding author is assigned only reviews from other members of the ring, in which case there's no one to argue against the paper, even if it is well below the publication threshold. If collusion rings are very small, they have a negligible effect on the conference. But if collusion rings are big enough, any pretense of quality control evaporates, honest authors lose motivation to submit, and the system loses legitimacy. That harms the honest contributors, but ultimately the colluders as well. All of us need to be on the lookout for this kind of antisocial behavior to keep our research community healthy and productive.